WCCO has learned some Stillwater Corrections officers are quitting their jobs after the deadly attack of an officer. Joe Gom died Wednesday after an inmate beat him with a hammer inside the prison workshop. Some corrections officers told us that top management ignored their mounting safety concerns. WCCO's Liz Collins sat down with one officer who told her that he had no choice but to call it quits. I'm done. The two words entered his mind just as soon as Joe Miller heard the news that the corrections officer who trained him, Joe Gom, was gone. I had to quit for my own sanity. Miller spent 13 years guarding some of Minnesota's most dangerous criminals, the last four as a sergeant. He walked away from a $60,000 a year salary, benefits, and a pension without a plan B. You knew this was going to happen. Yeah, the writing has been on the wall for the last year. Miller, like many current and retired corrections officers, told WCCO they considered the inmate to staff ratio unsafe for some time. <laughs> Even seven years ago, when we profiled sudden violence at prisons, another officer shared this warning. If this continues to go on, that we keep getting more and more inmates into Stillwater um, and not enough correction officers, somebody's going to get hurt or killed. Inside the workshop where Gom was attacked, we're told one officer watched 37 inmates, at least a 10,000 square foot space, they say, with no security cameras. He was a brother in arms there, and he's dead. And I blame the DOC and our administration. Miller says he couldn't take the panic attacks anymore, and that he felt like he'd grown into a different person at a job where he says he felt all too often like the prisoner. It messes with you. No funeral arrangements have been announced yet for Officer Joe Gom. A GoFundMe account has raised nearly $16,000 for his family so far. A spokesperson with the Department of Corrections says between Stillwater and Oak Park Heights, there have been a total of three resignations since mm. Wednesday, Amelia. All right. Thank you, Liz.